Hello, Booktube. I'm Peg. I used to be the Book Prize Addict, but I've changed my name. As you'll see, uh, kind of a new plan for my reading life in, in 2021, and also including my other big hobby now is knitting. And now Peg's knitting books and crochet. So uh, we'll have a little bit of each, and uh, I'll start today with uh, my Actually, it's mostly crochet. I'm getting ready to put all my Christmas stuff away that I made, and I thought I'd uh, just make a quick video and just kind of show you. Um, I'm getting have to put away my Nutcracker necklace till next year, um, but I had a lot of fun this year um, making things for people and to decorate, etc. Um, first of all, I, I have some old things to show you. They are knitted Christmas socks. These are clean. I just washed them and put them away. Um, but uh, I've had those for years and I just love them. Actually, this is all one yarn. It comes out of the ball so that it knits up like this. So I don't have a lot of little ends of yarns. This is, I'd really love to find some. These are getting pretty worn out, but I still wear them every Christmas. Um, the next thing I did was uh, some crochet. Um, I have a, uh, a lot of little girls in my in my family who uh, w want clothes for American Dolls, which is big now. And uh, I didn't really know what American Dolls were, or <laughs> so I I didn't buy American Dolls because they are really expensive. But I bought some look-alike American Dolls so I could make things for them and be sure they fit. And I have uh, the three dolls in their Christmas sweaters in my, I'll put it in my thumbnail, but I'll just show it here. Here's two of them. I put them in the window and I've got many comments from the neighbors uh, of my of my um, crocheted sweaters. I, I sewed the pants for them and everything. Here's my, my favorite one um, is this one. I think it kind of looks like me a million years ago. And there's a tree in the window. So, Okay, so those were fun. Uh, while I was crocheting, I made a thing for the wreath for the door. Oh, I'm getting flat flashes. Oh, well. And I made a, I covered the lamppost with uh, crocheted snowflakes. We had a little contest in my neighborhood on uh, decorating in your lamppost, so I did that, and it looks kind of plain here, but right after I did this, we had a big snow, and it looked really great in the snow. Okay, I think that's all of the, uh, yeah, knitting stuff I've, I've done. I'll put it all away till next year, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans for next year. I've made some um, changes. I decide I'm going to spend the year reading books that I already own. Books from my shelf, I'll call it. I have over a thousand books. I've been to, you know, many, many years. You can tell I've been book hunting many years and buying from used stores here and there and and uh, book prizes that I follow that I haven't read. So I would have spent, hopefully, not buy or even use the library too much, read the older books. Um, and uh, so I'll, I'll be going through those. I'm keeping account of how many I can get rid of. So anyway, um, the one I'm reading now, also I'm going to read some longer books when I'm just keeping count of my reading. And I, I tended to shorter books, but there's some really great long books. This Sharon K. Pittman is a wonderful historical uh, novelist. And uh, she has several series out, a five book series on uh, the kings, early kings of England. Uh, I read one of the whale, Wales um, kings, and it was really good. And I, I read it a long time ago. I remembered it stuck in my mind, which is a good, a good sign that she's good. So this one, uh, actually, I did get this one new, but it's not the new year yet. <laughs> anyway, and this one is around about the 11, 1100s during the Crusades in Jerusalem kingdom, kingdom of Jerusalem, and it's just really interesting, and best of all, I know nothing about that period, and it's it's a good way to have it, and she she has really good characters. They're, they become real to me. I can't take historical things if the characters aren't good, but they really are, and the other thing I'm reading, um, 
this year I've been reading on is a five book uh, series by J Elizabeth Jane Howard called The Cazalet Chronicles. Um, this was first, Elizabeth Jane Howard was mentioned by my old friend, Sean the Book Maniac, as someone he really liked. And you know how picky he is. He bails on a lot of books. And she's a mid-century writer. And I, I uh, picked up her first one uh, in the light years, fa finally found it. They're not real easily to find. And they are just great. It's going to be a saga of a family uh, it starts before World War II. It's going to take us through the war. And again, all the characters, there's a lot of them, but they're so distinct and so good. And I'm just on the first one now, so I'll have four more to go. And then she has other novels too. So I'm excited about that. So, okay. So I will be back. Who knows when? Pro hopefully a little too uh, more often than I have been and show some of my knitting progress and what I'm reading from my shelves. Okay, Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.